guys, Dirk here from Chef Serena Hero. I hope everyone is well and as always, ready to get your cook on. So, today I'm going to be showing you a very simple, very easy, delicious dish using this right here. I hope you guys can see that. Beef tenderloin. Now, I love cooking with beef tenderloin. Um, for one thing, it's very lean, uh, very little fat um, on this, and when you cook it properly, absolutely delicious. So if you love your beef, you're going to love this dish. Um, then we're going to be pairing that off with a beautiful um, risotto milanese. Am I saying that right? Milanese? Basically, it's like a cheesy risotto that's going to um, sit underneath uh, the beef, but it works really well. Um, and just, yeah, flavor is incredible. Very simple to put together. It takes about 15 minutes. And then finally, we're going to be pairing that off with one of these little bad boys right here. Now, you guys might have seen this before. This is called a Negroni cocktail. Uh, it's been around a long time. It's a little bit bitter, um, but it has like the sweet undertone um, to the cocktail and just works really great with this beef dish. So I'll be showing you this at the end of the video. And that's it. Uh, like I said, 15 minutes to put this together. So let's get started. Okay guys, so to make this dish, we are just going to need a few ingredients and as always, I'll put all of this information into the description of the video for you guys to see. Uh, but essentially, um, what we need is uh, obviously the hero of the dish, a beautiful beef tenderloin, uh, then we're going to need um, some butter, olive oil, chicken stock, one cup of arborio rice. Uh, we're going to need some spring onion, uh, some peas, uh, some chives, a little bit of parsley, some chopped garlic, and then finally we're going to need some parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese. And that's basically it. That's all we need to make this dish. So the first thing we're going to do is get about four cups of chicken stock um, and bring that up to the boil and allow that to boil for about four minutes. And at the same time, we're gonna get um, another pot with boiling water and add our pea pods. And we're just gonna let that cook for about one minute. Uh, after one minute, we're gonna drain the pea pods and then put that into a nice ice water bath. And that's all we need to do for this step. So guys, all I've done here is reduce the chicken stock to a simmering heat. Uh, I've drained the pea pods and uh, just put them into uh, the ice water bath. Okay, so the next step is just to get a pot onto a medium high heat uh, with a little bit of olive oil. And all we're going to do is add our one cup of spring onions. Now, guys, I'm also going to add one cup of porcini mushrooms. Now, this is not essential to the dish. You don't need to add this. I'm just doing it because, well, I really love mushrooms and I think it goes great with, uh, with the risotto. But uh, again, just a personal preference. You guys don't need to do this. Um, but it really does add great flavor to the risotto. So all we're going to do is uh, saute this. Um, for about a minute and a half. Um, just going to add a nice amount of butter as well. And the main thing is we do not want uh, the butter or the spring onions or the mushrooms to, to burn. We're just sauteing this. So no more than two minutes. That's all, um, that's all this will need. 
So after two minutes, this is nicely coming together. It just smells so good. So all I've done is added um, our two chopped garlic cloves. And now it's time to add our one cup of arborio rice. So now once we add the rice um, to this mixture, it's very important guys to just keep this constantly moving. Always keep it stirring, don't let it sit for too long, um, otherwise it'll start to stick to the pan. Um, and yeah, it just, it, it won't mix in well. So on a low to medium heat, we're just going to start stirring this through, let it all mix in um, together, and then we're going to add um, slowly our chicken stock. So I've been stirring the risotto for just a little over a minute and now it's time to slowly start adding our chicken stock. Now guys, risotto takes time to cook and if you try and rush it, it just won't work. So all we're doing is adding a little bit at a time, I'm going to keep this stirring through. Once the chicken stock mixes into the risotto, then we'll add some more. Uh, this process takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, but like I said, don't rush it, otherwise it won't turn out better. It's better to do this nice and slowly. Um, and once the risotto gets this beautiful, creamy um, uh, texture to it, then we know that we're almost done. So it's been just a little over 10 minutes, and as you can see, the risotto has this beautiful, thick, creamy texture, which is exactly what we were looking for. So all we're going to do now is add a little bit more chicken stock um, to the pot, uh, mix that through, and then we're ready to add the peas and the cheese, and then the risotto will be done. So the final step is just to add the uh, mozzarella and parmesan cheese to the risotto and let this melt through. This takes about 30 seconds in total. Uh, once the cheese is melted through, then we're just going to add the peas, uh, cook that for about another minute, and then we're going to set this aside and get started on the beef tenderloin. Okay, so for the beef tenderloin, uh, I've just got a fry pan onto a medium high heat with a little bit of oil until it's starting to smoke. Now, for me, I like my steaks uh, medium rare. So that generally takes, for a cut this size, about two and a half minutes each side. Uh, now, if you want medium, that will probably be about three minutes each side and medium to well will be three and a half to four minutes. Uh, but two and a half minutes is just perfect. Now all I've done is season this uh, with salt at the moment. Uh, I don't add pepper uh, before cooking because the pepper can burn which gives this burnt taste to the meat which I don't like. Um, so I like to add the pepper after it's cooked and while it's resting. Uh, but again, personal preference. Um, but I find um, that works better. So two and a half minutes each side and then this will be perfectly done. So it's just been two and a half minutes guys and all we're going to do is just flip this over, look at that, beautiful, and cook this for another two and a half minutes. So it's just been a little over one minute, and all we're going to do now is add a touch of butter to the pan, just like that, and then we're also going to add a few of thyme. 
Now normally I would also add some garlic, um, but we have garlic in the risotto, so we don't need um, to add any of that. Um, but this just adds such a great flavour to the beef. So we're just going to cook this through for about another minute, 20 seconds. And then we're going to let this um, rest for about 5 minutes. And then we are ready to plate. So guys, when it comes to plating up, what I like to do is just have that incredible risotto as the base. And then we're going to place that amazing, uh, perfectly cooked beef tenderloin uh, on top of the risotto. And then finally, we're just going to top that off with a little bit of butter. And then garnish that off um, with a touch of parsley. And that's it. That's all we need to do for the dish. Looks amazing, tastes incredible, and guaranteed to impress. So guys, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to make the Negroni cocktail. So we're just going to start off with 30 mils of um, high quality gin into a cocktail shaker. Then we're going to do 30 mils of vermouth, uh, sweet vermouth as well, just like that. And then finally, we're going to top that off with 30 mils of uh, Campari. Okay, that was probably about 40 mils, but yeah, that's fine. Then we're going to give this a shake and then just pour this over ice in a tumbler glass. And that's it. So we've given this a good shake and we're just going to pour this over the ice. And look at that, beautiful. Looks amazing. And that's it guys, we're done. So guys, that was the entire dish. Uh, hopefully you like it just as much as I do. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to be back very soon with a new dish for you guys. So good. Mm. Amazing.